Welcome back. This is What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways. And we are still discussing the Nigerian identity with our very special guest, Alakunle Shorion. Uh, now, remember, you can join the conversation by tweeting to us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa with the hashtag Ways or send an SMS to the number on your screen. So, right, before the break, we... Um, we're trying to thrash the escapist mentality, yes. um, and we're looking at the reason why Nigeria Nigeria was banned um, from from visiting the U.S. Uh, for immigration, and part of it is because Nigerians will travel there and choose to remain there. So now, looking at that, why would a Nigerian want to leave their country? Doesn't it go back to the government? It goes back to what is wrong, mm. not the government. The government is a subset of what is wrong, probably the logo of what is wrong, probably the face of what is wrong. But what is wrong is deeper than the government. It's the idea that there is a little Nigeria, that, that problem you see about Nigeria, mm -hmm. there is a little miniature version of it in every home, in every office in Nigeria, in every school, in every lecturer's office, right? You realize that you cannot really perform beyond your level of capacity. When people get into government and then they steal a lot of money, mm -hmm. we say they are thieves. We say government has corrupted them. And so these guys are corrupt, right? Mm -hmm. But if you step on cockroach, can blood come out? Absolutely no, absolutely not. Because it doesn't have blood. Yes. If you squeeze a car, can chocolate come out? No. No, because there's no chocolate in it, right? Mm -hmm. Only metal, oil, and, and water. Water. Then, if it's, a, if it's a human being there, you see blood, right? Mm -hmm. So when you put pressure on the thing, the content of the thing is revealed, right? Mm -hmm. When a woman is, when a guy slaps his wife, he says something like, you know, it's what you did. If you can just stop saying these things to me, mm -hmm. I will not slap you. I don't want to slap you. Suggesting that this wretchedness is as a result of the unguardedness of the other party. Hmm. Meanwhile, the reason why you slap your wife is not because of what she said. It's because you are a slapper. Now, what she said puts you under pressure. To act. To, to act. To but what you so. did is a result of who you are. Right? Hmm. Because what she said put you under pressure, but what is inside you came out. Hmm. Somebody who doesn't know how to slap will be as provoked as you, as livid as you, pick up his jacket and go for a walk. Because what it takes to slap is not in him. Because a fan, I'm going somewhere, and because I'm, I'm a plane and a fan share the methodology of a fan, of a blade, doesn't mean they can both take off, hmm. right? So in the same way, when people get into government, government is a pressurized environment. You put them under pressure, but who they are, is revealed. You see, you don't become a thief because you stole. You steal because you are a thief. Mm. Such that if you don't ever have the misfortune of stealing in your lifetime, it doesn't make you less a thief if you are a thief, whatever made you a thief. Mm. Given the right circumstance and the right pressure, if you, you are a thief, you will steal. So if you are not a thief, you will not steal. I said all of that to say that. What is wrong with us There's, yeah. is us. And we need to fix us so that when one of us represents us, it will give the right experience to the world that wants to experience us. So but to is, be selective. Sandra, can we just come back to my question of redemption? Yes. Because it, it's just important for me that we need to see, we must see a way forward. This is where I live for now, I'm sorry. But we need to see a way forward. What is, what is redemption for us? Is I, there I, hope? I, I, there I, hope? No. Ah, yeah, there's no hope. <laughs> there must be hope. Sorry. Let me tell you, hope is not a strategy. If you have, <laughs> if you have, a, if you have a younger brother mm -hmm. and you ask him, what's your plan for the future? And he says, oh, God will do it. I'm sure you'll be worried. Well. If the only thing your son has for you as a response to the quality of his future is that God will do it, which is hope. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll be worried. If you have head of business development and you say, please, what's our plan for this year for revenue? <laughs> say, oh, God, we do it. You will say, what do you mean by that? I've spoken to everybody that loves Nigeria mm -hmm. and I've asked them about the future. And the only response I get from the lowest to the highest is that somehow 
God will do it. And that's comforting. That's not a strategy. Except that you will not take that if that was if Nigeria was your wife. If Nigeria was your son, you will not take that from your son. If Nigeria was your younger brother or your head of business development, you would not take that excuse. It's only when it comes to Nigeria that we accept hope as a comforting instrument. So, um, so I do not think that kind of hope that you, you think about is going to work for Nigeria because I call it infinite no, optimism. Optimism, so optimism that has been. That's why I said redemption. It, there has to be. What's the plan? What, what's thank there, you. There has to be a plan. I the like redemption. that. So, Redemption is pretty, it's very costly, yeah, but, uh, but I will say what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? What can we do, right? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what the problem is, as far as my study okay. is concerned. So first of all, the problem is in Nigerian people. Okay. There is something in us that can tolerate pain. All right. And we adapt real quick Which is why we remain happy. to our next level of pain or incompetence. We understand it. Hmm. History has no impact on the Nigerian people. Somebody that went to jail for stealing all the money four years ago can come back to become our president in But do we even time. really know our history? That's another symposium discussion, right? All right. Okay. Okay. Because we know a type of history, but the history documented for our kids to learn is untrue. And mm. so, truth, lie has a lifespan, so you cannot stay in the head of anybody. I'm a kid, I didn't even really so, learn in any history. But let's leave that. Let's right. come back to what has to be done. Okay. I think what is really wrong is that the Nigerian, the vast majority of Nigerians are terribly ignorant. Mm. And when I say ignorant, if I let me put it right, the Education vast majority of Nigerians are goes not educated. Leadership. So it goes back to the leadership. They are not educated. Mm -hmm. By education, I don't mean academics. I agree. Because academics is what you are taught, and that's okay. not nature. That is the view of a people that is regulated into a program. Okay. That's not what we need. In fact, that can be oppressive. We need the ability of the human spirit to experience this environment, to be able to question it deep enough okay. to identify the options that exist in it, and to know the ones to embrace as a matter of supreme importance and urgency. I'll say it again. Education has to be the ability of the human spirit to experience its environment, to question it deep enough to find the options that exist in it, and to know the ones to embrace mm. as a matter of supreme importance and urgency. By that definition, so many people are not educated, even with a PhD. Right. Mm. Because they lack the ability to question their environment, to know the supreme idea and to know the ones to embrace as a matter of supreme importance and urgency. We have to give that education to our people. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen from the classroom, hmm. okay? Because the classroom is a limited experience. It's going to happen from the benefit of our language, right? Benefit Be of our language. Yes, because How, sir? I don't know about you, but I cannot think in Yoruba. I cannot think in Yoruba. So if we turn this to a Yoruba show, I mm. cannot make a sentence successfully. That's interesting. Without yeah. bringing that, you're amazing. <laughs> I think Somebody I must have done something right there. Well, I, 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 the I, I, Ibos, I, I think the in Ibos, the Ibos are getting it right because somehow they get their kids to still stay true to that language, even though they are still the language is still pretty much endangered. Mm. In the West, we are not doing as good. It's difficult to find today's Yoruba kid who is not more and getting better on English language than in his own native language. Hmm. The idea is, I can speak in Yoruba. What the Yoruba I speak is Pidgin Yoruba. Clon Shele, and you boys, you know, it's Pidgin Yoruba. Pidgin is the proof of a people's struggle with an original language. They're speaking French, they're speaking Portuguese, they're speaking English, they're speaking mm -hmm. Yoruba as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Now, when I've lost the ability to think in my um, native language, native language I would not be able to find Yoruba for words like downsizing. I'm going to struggle. Mm -hmm. ah. So when I need to say downsizing, when, ah, oh yeah, car, da, downsize. I will have to use downsizing yeah, because, because I don't know what that is. Region. I'm not able to think in my, my best thoughts. I cannot express it because mm. I am not the master of my own original language. Neither am I the master of English mm. language. Mm. So I'm stuck right there in the middle. Now I'm going somewhere. Why is it that the most prosperous nations in the world speak one language? The poorest nations in the world have so many. Diverse languages. You see? 
call it a coincidence, but I don't think so, right? It's also that every, the poorest countries in the world are dealing with a lingua franca, trying to blend the diversity of language within their environment. The most prosperous countries only have one. The Germans speak German, the French speak French, the English speak English, so the Chinese you, speak Mandarin. Are you saying diversity is part of our problem? Oh, yes. Diversity. It is? Yes. Isn't yes. that an advantage? No, well, it is an advantage if we play it the way the United States is playing it. But that's not, we are not even there yet to appreciate that diversity, how much more to deploy it. Mm -hmm. The United States receives about 50,000 people from all over the world, even from their, some of the countries of their greatest enemies into the United States to become permanent residents and then they grow to become citizens, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're able to blend that diversity. There's a, there's a Nigerian, now out of every 10 Nigerian today, middle class, eight are giving birth abroad in the last five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means there's an American growing right there behind your house, there's an American growing growing up somewhere mm -hmm. in, your, in your baby's classroom. There are about 15 Americans in every you know, middle class school, Nigeria, and upper class school largest. in Nigeria, <laughs> right? So part of, what is, part of what has happened is that we need to come back home to ask ourselves where our genius lie as a people. I do mm -hmm. know it is not in English language, and I'm not sure we have all the time to deal with that today. But I'll give you a classical example. Mm -hmm. In the United States, there are some things that if you don't speak to, you can never become president. The degree to which you are able to articulate your view on those issues mm -hmm. will go a long way in determining your, whether you win the election or not. For example, if, what is your program for veterans, right? Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about immigration, right? True. If you say the wrong things about those areas, you, you, you can Everything. lose that election mm -hmm. right there. Why is that important? Because the people and what you, they are interpreting can cost you the election. The guys are going to vote for real. Mm -hmm. Their vote is not, going, it's not just because they have the right instruments to choose the right candidate, and there's no rigging, all of that, which is a symposium discussion. Mm -hmm. It's first of all that they understand the issues. When you say jobs, they know what you mean. When you say GDP and per capita income, they, mm -hmm. they know what you mean. There is a minimum level of understanding mm -hmm. between the communicator and those receiving it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you come here and you are talking, I mean, you hear a legislator, a legislator campaigning here. He's campaigning like an executive. He's saying uh, he will build roads. Does legislators build roads? Because the guys he's talking to don't know the difference between when a legislator is, mm. is campaigning or when, or when an executive, executive. is campaigning. Right. So, luckily, I'd like to cut you because I know that we're running out of time and I really need to ask this question. So in talking about the Nigerian identity and portraying ourselves out there, people would want to argue, especially in the creative industry, that Nigeria and things from Nigeria, like our music, our culture, our food, is becoming more recognized, more accepted. Fashion too. Fashion. And these are all elements of identity. And ident right? Yeah, these are all uh, elements of identity. So what do you have to say about that? Are we not making progress on that? Are we getting no, everything wrong? No, no, we are getting wow. everything wrong. Wow. Ugh. Now, because you are from the same family, you bear the same name, and you wear the same clothes, that does not in any way define the strength of your thinking and the strength of your character. So my but does it so, not identify me? So all of what you, identity is deeper than just knowing who you are. So this is not you. You are a beautiful lady, Thank but it is not you, right? What if if somebody wants to marry you and he marries this, the person is blind ah. because there's <laughs> more there's to what more you to me see me that meets the eye. There is the right? core. Right? Yes. So there is a core. What defines you is just two things: the strength of your uh, character and the quality of your thinking. Mm -hmm. Those are the and those are ideological issues. So Nigeria can make it in fashion all you want. We can have the oh, big the entertainers stuff. all you want. All of that's a fluff, wow. right? The real ideal is there has to be an ideological class that binds us together, that release the um, um, genius of every Nigerian, that fans out the beauty of our thinking, that shows the originality that is trapped in our unpromoted and uncelebrated culture and traditions, that pretty much give every Nigerian the attention its individuality deserves, that assures the Nigerian that if I do one, two, three, this will be the outcome. Oh, if I wow. work hard, if I give myself to study, if I embrace meritocracy mm -hmm. and excellence, I will deliver this outcome, right? 
right? That is the type of ideological class we need to define. We don't have that. A billion songs cannot make that happen. As a matter of fact, if you don't have that and you have the songs, you set yourself for what I call unbridled growth because freedom without rules is a vice. Oh, and wow. so yeah, the song, somebody said, give me the lyrics of the songs of the land. I don't care who writes the laws. Mm. Mm? Mm. If somebody, the content of those songs that is going viral, I'm sure there are musicians who are very popular who are representing Africa that you can't allow your son to marry. Mm -hmm. You can't allow your daughter to marry. Mm -hmm. They won't even listen to this. Okay, songs. so so you then want to ask yourself, so so, so where are we going with that? Is America growing because of um, Jay Z? Is or is America growing because of Kim Kardashian? You know, someone and, would argue that part of the reason why America thrives so much is because right from childhood they indoctrinate the American dream, the American identity the American into dream. their children. But in Nigeria, we don't have anything like the Nigerian Which identity. identity. Which is what I'm talking about. And it's that schools, ideological we need to class our history that we need to represent. But Absolutely. we can't even represent it when fundamentally we've not dealt with the issue of how we learn. So let me tell you something. The subjects of development are mm. physics, chemistry, biology, and maths. Those are the subjects that make everything, made everything in this room. Those subjects make things. Every other subject is either protecting what those subjects make, distributing it, right, mm -hmm. or making it accessible. Law, mm. commerce, economics, and all of that. But the subjects of development is maths, chemistry, physics, and biology, right? Mm. Now, the most prosperous nations learned those languages in their language. They learned those subjects in their language. Yeah. Mandarin, English, Hangul, French, yeah, German, Portuguese. Portuguese. They learned those languages in their language. We are like learning, compromising our own originality. And most of these countries and are the ones ranking high in the world chart. You see, and some of the most successful people in the world. Let's say, let's say, let me first of all break this down. I, I hope we have time. You know, I, I don't think we actually have time <laughs> oh for God. it. This is we'll such a deep. This yeah, is such we'll a bring deep. You back on the I don't know. What, I don't know whether to, to be happy or to be sad. I don't, After, I know. I don't know how I, I feel like, right now. Because honestly, we, we have hope, a lot of the, things to trash. The type of hope we should be talking about, we've not gotten there. Mm -hmm. Hope exists, but not in the format. Not in the popular container that we put it, just but sitting down with. I, I like that fact that, that we're doing now. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. what is that hope that there is? It's, 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 the one it's, thing that we in like do. 30 seconds, I have to almost out of time. I really yeah. cannot say, but what we need to do is to change how we learn. We okay. need to change yeah. how the That's Nigerian people learn so that they can experience their world better, question it better, and mm -hmm. find options quicker. When, you, when your, your method of learning is defective, you will be determined, but you will determinedly suffer. Mm -hmm. You will be honest and sincere, but you will be sincerely poor. Mm -hmm. It's not determination. This thing takes a level of clarity. When we know better, we do better. Mm -hmm. And so that is what we need to focus on, how we learn. All right. When we know better, we do better. I think, ladies, we need to like have a part two of this Nigerian we need identity. To. But I like the fact that we're ending we can a thread. At least I have something to hold on to. We <laughs> yeah, to because we can discuss about fashion and discuss about every other thing. But it's at the core of, of our hearts, we need to have Maybe a dogma, if it be, that this is who I am as a Nigerian. So and when it next, exists. We yeah. can define it. Yeah. It actually exists. So when and we can democratize it. And you're telling people, do you know who I am? And they ask you to defend uh, it. So it actually explain, oh, this is my identity. This is my green passport. And I am super proud yeah, of it. So it's been a pleasure having you here. I think we're going to have to bring you back. We'll Absolutely. have discussions with the producer. Have to. <laughs> because we, have, we haven't even like gone into, no, no, we haven't. you know, we only just started the conversation. Time is so short. Anyway, thank you ladies. Thank you very much for being a fantastic yeah. guest. Thank you thank ladies for you. a great show. And I think what I'm taking away from this is that as Nigerians, we need to question our environment first and then identify our options and priority. And also divide, define an ideological class. class that shows our origin yeah. Originality yes. and our beauty. That's deep. Take a moment to think about it. And we need to empower every Nigerian to be able to do that. Oh, empower, empower every Nigerian, Nigerian too. No. Okay. I don't want to no. go, don't don't want to go back in there. <laughs>
we got to go, man. We're almost running out of time. All right, thank you so much for watching today's show. You can also watch repeat broadcasts on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been such an insightful conversation. Please keep it going on our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. There is no country in the world with the diversity, confidence, talent, and black pride like Nigeria, quote by Binyavanga Wainena. Oh, I guess might might disagree, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation continues after after the show on our Instagram page. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a lovely weekend. God bless you. Bye.